Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk in New Pimp. Clyde, what are you doing? Um, okay, I don't know what is up with Clyde. He apparently tried to kiss us or some jazz, but we are on our way to Nooks. Uh, today's episode is going to be pretty short, mainly because I don't have a lot of time to record it. Today's going to be like a very busy Friday for me, so, um... You know, that's why I'm going to really keep this around 14 or 15 minutes. Um, I would go longer if I could, but I just don't um, have time today, unfortunately. Uh, I really like this vase. That's cute. A blue vase. I'll take it, because I really like that. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, I don't really have big plans in the game today. We're basically just- basically? No, that was a mixture of basically and what I was going to say next, which was messing. Uh, we're basically messing around with the animals again, because um, we're talking and talking and talking to, you know, try and get more out of them. It's like difficult in this game, but I've complained about it enough, so I'll stop. Um, something I've been getting a lot of, you know, I don't know, a lot of people have been telling me to check this out recently, have been the Nook's point system, um, and, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, people are like, oh, you can get things with the point system, well, ladies and gentlemen, I only have enough to get a banana, so, unless I want this lovely banana from Mario Kart, that's like all I have enough to get, so... <laughs> I'm aware there's like a Wario hat and stuff, but I just do not have enough points to get anything right now. Um, but I thought I would show that off. I don't think I've really gone in and shown that off yet. Um, but basically the point system is, you know, whenever you shop and buy something, you'll get points uh, for whatever you buy, depending on the cost. And those points add up. It's kind of just like a reward program, and then you can get... Um, Nintendo merchandise with your purchase. So, um, with your purchase points, I mean. So, yeah. Um, it's a nice little feature, but I have not bought enough. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of this stuff was found. A lot of it came out of trees, and so, yeah, it's like, I have not bought enough stuff to really take advantage of that. Um, let's place this. Well, We'll put it right in front of the bathtub for right now because it looks good right there. Um, and I need to put this in the refrigerator, uh, which I feel very <laughs> weird doing, but um, that's what I have to do. Okay, and I need to sell that, but I don't have like anything to sell right now. It's cloudy again. It's weird. Um, I don't know. Our house is like a rainy day house, I guess. Um, all right. So yesterday I talked about. Um, Harry Potter, seeing the last Harry Potter movie, which I did at midnight. Okay, they played like one preview, and it was for like Sherlock Holmes or some crap. And like, I was watching the preview, like talking to my sister through it, and then the movie just suddenly starts. No like warning, no this film is rated PG-13, like you know you see at the beginning of most movies. Um, there was none of that. There wasn't anything. And I was like, uh, suddenly I look up and like Voldemort's standing there and I was like, duh, is it starting? Like, I didn't know if it was one of those little advertisements. It's like, thank you for coming to the movie. Go buy stuff from our snack bar. Like, I, I didn't know if it was like that, but it just like started and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> so I talked through the first like 30 seconds of it because my sister and I had no idea it was starting. Um, way to warn us, I guess. I ended up in the second row, which was pretty legit. Hi, Rald! Um, I ended up in the second row. Well, I, I'm sorry I didn't get you a fossil. You don't need one. Your house is not fossil approved. Uh, or fossil appropriate. Um, so anyway, yeah, we were, ended up in the second row, but it wasn't like extremely close to the screen, just the way the theater was set up, so it was nice regardless. Um, but oh my god, I loved it. It was so good. I thought the second half was better than the first half of 
um, the seventh movie. Don't worry, I'm not going to give anything away to those of you who have not seen it, because if you're like me, you do not read the books before you see the movies, so that way you're never disappointed. Um, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves, when somebody comes out of a movie for a book and is like, this is nothing like the book, they left this out and that out, and it was so bad, I expected it to be really good. It's like, dude, they would have to make the movie like eight hours long to meet every single thing in those books. You see how thick those books are? They're not skinny. And I believe this house wasn't here before. Hmm, interesting. Um, so that just really bugs me. So I have not read past the third book before seeing the movies. On purpose, so I'm never disappointed. Not another horse! Buck! Whoa, sorry about the total mess here. I'm gonna clean it up. Alright, so chill. Why do we have so many horses in this neighborhood? Um, I packed up my dumbbells and moved here from- Cat son! Gaia, you sent me a buck? What the F? I haven't been to Cat Sun in like weeks. This- Well, it took you long enough to move, buck, you weirdo. I'm officially confused, but everybody in this game is like obsessed with, um, the town Cat Sun. Alright, buck, I'll let you unpack. Um... Anyway, I love the movie. I thought it was extremely well done, um, especially given, like, it didn't seem like they had that long to put it together, but it was amazing the way they put it together. So I loved it, um, and I would highly approve of seeing it. Uh, I definitely want to see it again, though. I need to see the first half again, too. I'd like to rent the first half and then go see the second half again, because, like, I don't know, I feel like I, um could use a nice refresher and you know how you see those movies you know four times and you see something new in them every time or notice something different um, every time so that's why I want to do that I'll probably definitely see it again though um, but anyway I haven't even read through comments from yesterday I ended up um, like leaving and then I was gone all night when I usually look at comments obviously I was at the movie so um, I have yet to see how many of you went, but feel free to um, leave a comment of what you thought of the movie. Um, please don't try to include, try not to include like big specific things, um, just so nobody spoils it for anybody else who did not go to the midnight showing. Um, we're not here to spoil anything. We're just here to talk about our feelings after the movie ended. So please don't spoil anything in the comments. Uh, I would appreciate it, and thank you. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed, and it was kind of sad, because like, walking in, I was like, oh my god. Uh, last time, I mean, I remember like yesterday walking into these movies, and I was 11. Like, what? That was like almost 10 years ago. Uh, it's crazy to think it's been that long. Uh, I might have even been 10. I think I was 11, though. Um, but it's just like, oh my god, nine years have gone by since then? Why am I sitting in this chair? No. Um, so it was kind of sad, like, the last one. It's like, oh my god, nine years ago. It was the first one, and I was just a kid, and I was so excited. Um, and, like, I went with my sister uh, to the first one, obviously. And, like, um, she was my age for the first one. So it's like weird to think of it that way. It's crazy. Uh, but it was a great movie. Um, perfect ending. I loved it. And I bet you guys will love it too. So, uh oh, Sahara's here. I don't know if we'll have time to find old carpet unless somebody standing around has some. Uh, I've also been warned that you can get up to three old carpets and then you get like a Sahara signature um, carpet or something wallpaper. I don't know. Um, something along those lines you get for having three old carpets, but you know, if we can manage today I'll only get one. And I will um, take uh, 6,000 and some bells. Also, speaking of which, oh my gosh, I'm like three away as I'm recording this. I'm three away from 6,000 subscribers, so I want to say really quickly, oh my gosh, thank you guys so, so much. I, it's 
feels like yesterday it was like 5,000. I'm like freaking out. I looked at my subscriber count and I was like, what? Holy God. So, oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Um, I really, like, I'm not making this up. I was just like, whoa, when did this happen? Um, so I really want to, um, thank you guys so much. Um, alright, I guess I gotta... Okay, what's his catchphrase? Um, I don't know, but anyway, to finish what I was saying, yeah, just thanks so much, you guys. I'll be making a special soon, although I might not make one until 6,400 because of 6,400. Um, okay. Whatever, we can just make something relatively simple for this. Okay. There we go. <laughs> work! You know it! I'm about to work! Uh, I don't think any of the animals have ever said work in this game before, unless I'm forgetting something. Um, Alright, so old carpets. I will try. Sahara is so cute. She really is such a cute character. I really do love Sahara's, like, look. She looks like Lamb Chop with those eyes and stuff. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, I really do love the way Sahara looks. She just looks adorable. Uh, Tiffany, do you have any, like, old carpets? How rude, my carpet isn't old at all! Whatever, you're stupid. Don't talk to me. Um, okay, P.S. I have got all the um, names for the grand prize for my Animal Crossing City Folk giveaway in my Michael Jackson hat. They're ready to be drawn out, or the grand prize uh, winner is ready to be drawn out. So it should be announced. Um, it should be announced on like Monday next week, um, or Sunday. Either one might be announced on Sunday. Uh, I'll be making a separate video for that. It's probably not going... I mean, if it is announced in um, an AC video, it will be like an after-the-fact kind of thing. So, um, yeah, thanks again to everybody who entered. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Oh, tomorrow's the bug-off. I gotta remember that. We gotta enter again and try to get another trophy. Um, what? Stupid. Um... I hate how these pitfalls are everywhere all the time. Uh, but I, the name is ready to be drawn, so I'm like really excited. I got like over 230 entries, so um, I was so excited and so happy with the outcome. It was great, so thank you guys so much for entering. Uh, that is what I bought last time. That's really weird. Um, pink glasses. Are these the same pink glasses I have? I think they are. Probably. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's go out and see if we can find an old carpet really quickly. Um. Okay. Well, anyway. So, uh, those are two big things I want to thank people for. is my subscribers and for entering my first giveaway. So, I'm like very excited about that too. I can't wait to reveal the winner or to pick out the winner. Uh, well, I guess I'm not really picking it. I'm just drawing it. Um, I don't want there to be any confusion there. Let's go in Alice's house. Um, so yeah, it should be a good day on Sunday. <laughs> okay, what can I do for you? Old carpets? Are you... Um, aww, how cute. Alice is always so sweet to us. She's like the sweetie of the town. Um, she really is. I love her. Uh, is there anyone else over here we could get an old carpet from, maybe? Yeah, let's go in Lucy's house. Clyde's standing there, too. I guess we'll ask these two and then be on our way to Sahara, and that's where we will end the video. Um, I'm really sad that Pinky has not appeared at all in this game. Um, it's crazy to me. Like, why is she not in this game? For me. I hear like a million- I get like so many PMs every day. Comments on my channel. 
comments on videos saying, Oh, I saw Pinky in the city, or Pinky moved to my town today, and it's like, what the F? How come I never even see Pinky? Um, if I'm not gonna- wait, if I'm not gonna roll in my carpet like a burrito, I don't deserve to have the carpet? Oh my god, Clyde needs to get out of my town. I don't care if he is Rald's best friend. Okay, Sahara, um, I just have one. I'm not gonna turn in any more than that. Um, and what did we get? A tartan rug. Interesting. I guess we'll look at this tartan rug then. Hi, Rald! Um, let's see. I guess we could have asked Rald, but I didn't even see him until just now. Um, oh, and I'm almost at 16 minutes. I guess I can talk for... Well, not that that was an issue. Not that I didn't think I could talk for the entire time, but I guess I made time. Oh, boring. No. Alright, guys. Well, this has been Madam Wario and New Pimp. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for the bug-off and more KK music.